Hello and welcome to today's video. And this video starts with a caution. Do not attempt this at home. Electricity can be dangerous if handled irresponsibly. Now the main reason I'm saying that is because this is an electronic ballast and the cover has been removed. And you do not want to be touching this when it's live. There are some capacitors in there and it is very dangerous. And what you're looking at is three T12 light fittings and they're all Philips and they're MCFE 20 watt 830T12s. And if anyone's interested, they were made in Holland. And basically this one, number one, is an electronic ballast lamp. Uh, number two is magnetic ballasted lamp. There's a magnetic ballast. And basically the live comes in, goes through the magnetic ballast and goes to one end of the tube. The neutral comes to the other end of the tube and the starter, which is also electronic ballast, electronic starter, sorry, is gonna control the lamp. And the reason why I've used electronic starters is so that the lamps all have a chance to come on together. The final one is a self ballasted fluorescent lamp using a 100 watt halogen light bulb. And that's why the same way as the ballasted, metal ballasted lamp, which is live to 100 watt bulb to fluorescent tube, neutral the blue wire all the way back to neutral. And then I've used a piece of earth wire with a start, like another electronic starter to start the light. And I suppose the best thing for us to do now is switch them on. Very interesting that the electronic ballast was first to light up, closely followed by the magnetic ballast lamp and my homemade one came on last, but only by a millisecond. Now I tried to do this experiment using T8 fluorescent tubes and I've been unable to get the um, self ballasted fluorescent tube using a 100 watt halogen lamp to actually work. So uh, that's the reason why I'm using T12s. They seem to be easier to light. So if you ever want to try this at home with a, doing a self ballasted fluorescent tube, I recommend you use T12s. You know, I'm just going to turn this off again. And you may notice that the electronic ballast stays on because obviously there's a capacitor inside and it just takes a few seconds to drain. And we'll turn it on once more. Yep, same again. Electronic ballast first closely followed by magnetic ballast and then the self ballasted lamp was last. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.